wasn't expecting to hear Abby's answer to the job they'd chosen. What makes it harder than you expected us to choose for a job? She asked her sister, wanting to know what was up with the scouting job. The main part is how we don't know what's in that area. It's the whole reason why the opportunity was posted by the guild. They need adventurers to go to those sections of the forest to give data to them. Abby took a deep breath. It's honestly very likely that our party gets wiped out by something we're not prepared for. She looked at Astrid and Frida. What do the two of you think? We believe that this is a good job for Claire and Hannah, Frida said. The fact that death could be part of this experience makes it even better. Nodding, Astrid added in. We believe that Claire and Hannah haven't experienced death enough times when taking on a job. They need to push themselves into the situations where no matter the strategy, luck plays a bigger part in the outcome. There was a groan from Bill. The jobs we take are hard enough. We're going to take one where it's likely we all get eaten or killed? Shaking his head, Bill looked at Claire and Hannah. The two of you might need to get a scan done by the guild. I suspect there's a screw loose in your head. I'm guessing Abby and Tommy dragged you into some dangerous jobs? Hannah giggled, noticing the source for Bill's complaints. Bill rolled his eyes at Hannah's comment as though his little sister's explanation didn't fully grasp the hardships he had to experience. Dangerous doesn't even describe the types of jobs they took on while expecting me to just come along with them. Stop your whining. Abby punched Bill on the shoulder. You didn't even get eaten once. Tell that to the monster that almost did eat me. I could feel its breath and smell what it had for lunch that day. Bill rubbed his shoulder where Abby had punched him, glaring daggers at her. Rolling his eyes, Tommy said, It was your own fault for just standing still and not staying mobile. He got pretty mobile after that. Candace giggled, looking sideways at Bill. Abby quickly lifted a hand to cover her mouth, though it failed to hide how humorous she found the comment. You see what I have to deal with? Bill whined to his little sister. These people are heartless. Congratulations on raising your level so high. Hannah didn't bother acknowledging her older brother's complaints. Seeing that he wouldn't get any sympathy from Hannah, Bill's shoulders slumped as he sighed. You must have taken on a lot of jobs. Claire asked Abby, getting a good sense of the experience they went through after listening to Bill. I'm sure the truth is somewhere in the middle of Bill and Abby. While Bill tends to over-exaggerate, Abby is too much of a soldier to understand what's hard for the average person. Claire thought to herself as she looked at Bill and Abby. Abby shrugged. Honestly. I'd have preferred to take more jobs. The problem is with this guy. She poked Bill to convey her dissatisfaction with his behavior. We'd turn in the job and he'd talk about how tired he was and need to sleep all day. Though before he'd go to sleep, his appetite tended to be taken care of first. On top of that, he seems to find enjoyment with waitresses. Hello, Bill. You going to get some food? A blonde-haired woman in a waitress uniform asked as she passed by Bill. Hey, Susan. Bill changed his body language from looking pitiful to one that exuded confidence. I'll have to convince the others, so maybe later. He grinned at the woman. 
flashing him a smile, the waitress said, Well, whenever you're ready to eat, you let me know, okay? She continued onto a table to get the order from adventurers that just sat down. Nearly all of them know him on a first name basis. Abby rolled her eyes 